What would you get if you combine LeBron James and Larry Bird? This guy right here. You would get Pink Diamond Adam Morrison. One of the best players in all of my team and an elite player. In this video, we're going to be completing challenges with every one of the players in the rewritten set. And if we win, we get to spin a good wheel to pick a teammate to add to the team with Adam Morrison. If we lose the challenge, we spin a bad wheel. And in the end, we are going to be going into Unlimited with a team based around, I mean, literally the next Larry Bird, Adam Morrison. So we're starting off with Marcus Pfizer and the guys we're running in our team are Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell. I assume you guys get where this team theme has come from. Pfizer, Gobert and Mitchell. Hopefully you guys can put two and two together, but it's the three we're running for our first game. Okay, so we're playing against not the greatest team right here, but it's not, it's, it's awful. It's awful. I don't know why I'm saying not the greatest, but it's not awful. No, no, this is not the greatest. It is awful. I think we should win this game. Oh, wow. Marcus Fies release. It's pretty good, but it's the freaking D. He has the D rose upper, but I don't know why I shot that. Okay, well, we're going to win this game. Let's just calm down and not do something dumb. I'll take the win. I'll take a dope right there. We may have lost 3-2, but I'll take that dub. I'll take it. Okay, good wheel for number one. Player number one, we are going to land on. Diamond. Okay. And with Diamond, we're going to be going with Kawhi Leonard because it gives a great defensive player to run beside Adam Morris. And these two guys together as the wings is going to be absolutely, absolutely elite lads. For Darko, we're going to be going with players in his draft class. So, obviously, we're going to go LeBron. I don't currently have Dwayne Wade. I actually need to get Dwayne Wade because I very much need him for a new video that I'm making. That was meant to be out literally like tomorrow, but it's not going to be finished. But we've got Wade, and then we have got the Bostrich. We got Chris Bosch right here. Well, not Wade. We've got Bosch and LeBron with Darko Milicic. Picks one, two, and four. And we also am not locking in for Melo. It's too expensive. Great. We're facing Clay, Wemby, and Iverson. All right, we are going to just abuse Iverson with LeBron. I right, LeBron can run through the best of them. I right, LeBron running through people. That's his best asset, like. And what I'm hoping is they're going to be able to switch Darko on Iverson. And Darko can just bully ball Iverson. Dunk it. Good, Bron. Let's go. Like, look, if Darko, he has one assist. Darko's done more than... Like, Darko's going to do for this team what he did for the 04 Pistons. Nothing. Sometimes play a few minutes here and there. Oh, yeah. Wide open midi. The Bosch misses. But Wemby. No, Wemby. Darko rebounds over Wemby. Let's go. Some more Bosch in this game. Good board there by Darko. Let's push it. Oh, my God. Darko's got a clean coast to coast dunk. Hit him with a pull up. Let's go. You were the original generational prospect from Europe, Darko Milicic. Don't let Wemby ever forget that. Oh, he's all wide open. Oh, yeah, LeBron. That's a great job. Darko 4-4-2 four, four, right here. Darko from mid. I don't get why he's fouling at 19-7 down. Get out of my way. Dunk it. Yes, Darko. 10-5-2 for him. What a game. So another spin of the good wheel after our second win in a row. And we're going to land on what's probably one of the worst things we can get with Ruby. But it could be a lot worse. Honestly, it could be a hell of a lot worse. And just to be safe, I'm honestly going to go with Herb Jones. What Herb Jones is, is a wing player that I can use on the bench. That I know can compete against the top of the top. And is an elite defender. Is he as good as Kawhi? No. But I think he'll do a good job on the bench. And for Ruby, it's really not a bad one. We got Purvis Ellison in here as our next player. Not a very good player at all in this game. I'm not going to lie. Like, he can't handle the ball, can't shoot. Not that fast. Not very tall. But for Purvis Ellison, we're going to go with disappointing number one overall picks. Because Purvis Ellison wasn't that bad, you know? But, like, he does. He was a disappointing number one overall pick. Just like Joe Smith wasn't a bad number one overall pick. Was disappointing. And the exact same with Andrea Bargnani. A disappointing number one overall pick. Not a bad one, but disappointing. Okay, this is not a great team, not a bad team. Not the best team. We should be okay. We've so much size, and we've actually... What I want is this mismatch here. I ideally want them to switch Iverson on to Purvis Ellison. We're about to win games at all the Sapphires here. 
I think he was just hustling me. He pretended to give up and then he hit a three. So, let's lock in again. Purvis Ellison, you're not a good defender, but you can kind of guard Ivers. On the plus side, like, there's no way that there's enough time left in this game for him to come back. There we go. Nice board. That should be... We've got two more possessions. We haven't hit a three yet, so... I think we're going to start now. See, he he's still playing. Can this guy just flop like he did a while ago or give me a three with Dark or with Andrea Bargnani, I guess? There we go. Easy three for game. Good job. So now we've got another win, another spin of the Goodwill where we're going to land on either Pink Diamond or Ruby. Oh, it's another Ruby. And we're actually going to go with today's set. Could I use Franz, who's better? Sure. But I kind of want to use Jonathan Bender because he is in today's set. He is new. He's a 6'11 small forward who does shoot the ball really well. So Jonathan Bender is a perfect player to have in the squad. Jonathan Bender is going to be coming into the squad. Is he a primary small forward? Yeah, he is. Wow. So Jonathan Bender in here as a very tall wing. And we're going to run two more tall wings. And I don't actually have... Uh, <laughs> What's his name? You know what? Santi Aldama. If I had Santi Aldama, I'd use him. But I'm going to run Tim Thomas as a 6'10 small forward as well. And then also as a tall wing, we're going to go to Ruby. And we're going to run Franz Wagner. 6'10. He can actually play the two. So we're running 6'11, 6'10, 6'10. So a lot of height with all wings in this team. I'm playing Stockton, LeBron James, and... Not LeBron James, Michael Jordan, and a freaking season one Giannis. And we hit the pick and pop. Easy one there with Jonathan Mender. Come on. Welcome back. Give me that. That's a green. Oh, that's just terrible. Great defense by both of you. Good. Okay, Franz. I was very, very, very confused why you dived. But I'll take it. Run forward. Walk back. Now we can burn. Wait. Walk back. Now we can burn him. Good. I'm telling you. Forward and back. Forward and back. Just forward and back. It works. That's a good finish there by Jonathan Bender. Let's go. That's so, happens so off. There we go. That's game. Now we've got another good wheel spin right here. We are on to win number four in a row. And we're going to land on Shooter. That's a great one to get. So a 95 plus three ball. I'm going to put Luka Doncic point guard 95 plus in this. 96 three ball for Luka. All the shooting badges. Luka gives us a nice point guard. Kind of like, he was a nice one, two, three. Like, as long as we get some decent bigs, we're okay. But if we get good wheel spins, we're going to get a nice lineup here anyway. Why is this lineup there? And what Harold Miner is, is a dunk contest champion. So we're going to be going with other dunk contest champions here. We're going to be putting in Harold Miner. We're going to be putting in at the uh, well, power forward slash center position. We're going to be using Big Blake Griffin. And then we're also going to be putting in... A power forward that won a couple of years ago in Obi Toppin. So Obi Toppin is not a bad player in game. And I think these two guys surrounding um, Blake will make a very, very nice squad right here. But uh, we're playing against a tough lineup here. A very tough lineup. Dunk it on him. Harold Miner is very similar in terms of level to a Anthony Edwards. I've shown him absolutely nothing. I've shown him... I've not shown that I have any ability at this game. So we need to be better, obviously, on both ends here. I'm literally trying to switch on the Blake. I keep switching on to uh, Obi Toppin. Good dunk. That's what you're there for. You're just, an you're just athletic and can shoot. Oh, yeah. If you like, if you like this release, I'm telling you. Um, you've got a very, very nice. Oh, no. Oh, it's wi wide open. Give me that, Harold Miner. I did not mean to do that, like, genuinely. I didn't know what I was doing there. Spin. Nice finish, Harold Miner. You know what? This card is legit, legit. Great win right there. Win number five in a row gets us a fifth spin of the Goodwill, and we're going to land on draft class, which is the 2006 draft. So there are two players that I'm considering. Do I push, I'm considering pushing him up to power forward. I'm running Rudy Gay. Or do I put LaMarcus Aldridge? Cause I'm not using Brandon Roy cause I don't have his diamond. I'm gonna push Bender up to power forward. Even though he is probably better small forward. I'm gonna put Rudy Gay in. 
2006 draft, Rudy Gay, very solid player. And a not bad, a very good player for the bench, at least for the squad. So we got Jay Williams right here, who's honestly just not a great player in my opinion. And we're honestly going to go with the Duke lineup. So I'm going to go with Jay Will. We're going to go with Jason Tatum. And then we're going to play one of the most high prospects ever out of Duke. I can't actually really like it. My team, we're going to play with Zion. Play Jay Williams, Jason Tatum, and Zion. Jay Williams, he, if he had an actual dribble style, he'd be good. Because his release is good and his stats are good. But his dribble style is awful. This is not an easy lineup at all. Kevin Garnett. But he has Siakam for some reason. And he shot a three with Kevin Garnett first possession. Like, it's a wild thing to do, but it seemed to work. And Siakam is like one of the best players in the game for guarding Zion. What was that? Great steal, Tatum. Let's go. Walk it back. Green that. I'll take the two. That's fine. Like, his release is legitimately good, though, Jay Wills. Dunk it. Good. That's a good play by him. Came off the screen, saw that I switched, faded into the corner. Like, that's a legitimately nice play. We got to hit him back with something equally as nice. So we're going to run around in circles a few times, and then hopefully we get open, which we kind of do. And I missed a shot. Sharp Day doesn't do anything. I still don't want to leave Kobe open. With or without Sharp Day, he makes that shot. We're going to lose 21 to 6 right here. It's not good. Not good at all. So our first loss, we get our first spin of the bad wheel for the team. And we're going to land on, actually, what is one of the better things to get, which is undersized. I'm not going to lie. And for undersized, I'm going to go undersized power forward Zion Williamson. I'm going to start him at the 4. A card that I actually do like. I was I would have used Dennis Rodman, but Dennis Rodman's an inch taller. And I think using Dennis Rodman for 6, 7, power forward might have been a bit iffy. I do prefer Dennis Rodman to him. But Zion is a card that I really do like. And especially since Ty has been just slandering this guy, I like this card a lot more now. And Darius Miles was a high school phenom. And obviously didn't quite live up to it. Like he was on some of those good young teams with him and Quentin Richardson. We're going for the high school phenoms of Darius Miles, Kobe Bryant, and Amare Stoudemire to go with them. Two guys that were high first round picks, especially Kobe for his time, despite coming straight from high school. D. Rob, Yanis, and Lamelo. Not that good a team. Calm down, Mick. It's not that good a team. Oh my God, he did that. Does he have the OP floater down? By the way, like if you're actually go with floaters, I'm pretty sure they're un effectively uncontestable because the CPU spams them at high difficulties. So I'd say they're very hard to contest. Oh, he stepped off, did he? Oh, I should have ha had that shot. There we, I missed, wow, I'm struggling here. Oh, lads. Such a bad possession there, lads, we are in. I'm really struggling. The problem is I've literally got Kobe and that's it for this team. I'm not a fan of any of the other guys. And with Kobe, sometimes you just can't hit with him. There are days we are hitting nothing with Kobe. Come on, Kobe. Can you just hit one, Kobe? Good boy, Darius Miles. Push, please push. Kobe, you're in the corner. And one. No, it's wide open. Let's go. That is the worst defense I've ever played. I sat corner while he had... That's seven open shots because my CPU wasn't guarding him properly and I didn't react. That's my fault. That's just sh that's just sheer laziness by me. Gotta play better this possession. You don't need an on ball. And you can sit off Giannis, but you've gotta at least respect Lamella. That if he comes off a screen and connects, you've gotta on ball that. Good job there by Kobe. Good dunk. I got hit by it. Green. Nothing I can do. I tried to like get over the screen like a cotton one of those animations that makes you fall like five steps into the screen hit him why are you popping to there you would have been wide open for three but instead you got contested and missed that's green you know what he was kind of hell off those fades going left with lamello we lost it's a bad loss there so another spin of the bad wheel after a bad loss right there and we're going to land on sapphire not the worst really not the worst so no one really gets a Sapphire is going to come into the squad. But I'm just going to take a risk. Because like, I know Cam Reddish is good and so is Badie. But we're good at the 2-3 position. I'm going to take a big risk when it comes to Sapphires. And just pray that I don't have to play these guys. But if we're really stuck, I'm going to put Dar um, Darko Milicic in the game. 
Like, he can be a big body and an inside presence. He's got a good mid-range shot. He dunks well. He'll play good defense. He'll rebound. Like, he'll do everything you want except shoot the three ball. So I'm just... He won't play, but if I have to, it's not the end of the world. So we got Telfair here, and we're now going to go with some Rooker Park legends. Telfair, a Rooker Park legend in his high school days. We're going to go and put in Kareem. We're going to put in the Doctor. Dr. J. Let's go in here. This is not a bad three right here to run with the Rooker Park Legends. All right, not a not a good team. Like, I'm not worried about Diaron at all. And I reckon this is a guy who just literally bought, um, who just bought Gobert and has Diaron because of that. That's a good block there by Kareem. Good pass, I guess, by Telfair to Dr. J. Oh my god, I, I genuinely, I tried to shoot the ball. I would have taken my heavy Lincoln Hester shot there over my square button not working. I'll take that every time. I will take a dumb shot when I press square than my square button not working when I'm trying to shoot the ball. There we go. Let's at least win it with Telfair. Telfair is not good, by the way. Telfair is absolutely awful, but you know what? We won 23-6 because my opponent was very weak. Another spin and a good wheel there. We're back to winning ways, and what we are going to get ourselves is DBG's choice perfect and i honestly if this was me i probably would go and use jalen suggs kobe's fun to use but i don't need kobe i need a center um i like matumbo but give me dave robinson you know what give me matumbo give me the Kembe. like i just want to i just want to use some players i like i prefer i like I, the chemist not as good as victor or the other guys I want to use the Kembe. He'll block shots. He'll shoot the ball. He'll get rebounds. Let me use the Kembe. Let me use the Kembe and peace slides. So now we've got a Mecca Okafor, the rookie of the year in 2004. Yeah, rookie or 2005. Sorry, rookie of the year over Dwight Howard. I look like he was going to be a superstar. In 2K, very bad card. Very bad card. And we're going to go with two more rookie of the years. We're going to go with Luka Doncic and we're going to go with David Robinson. Two, abs two guys who are absolutely elite as rookies. They're going to make the three rookie years, and we need guys that can shoot and create around a mech. Oh, wow. Not this lineup. Not Kobe, LeBron, and Wemby. I don't think this is the best team you can run in this mode, but a lot of people do. Oh, yeah. Oh. A mech over before we put in the rim. That's fine. We got caught, and that's green. We got their one miss out of the way, with, but like our, our whole game has been horrific right here. We got very lucky he jumped right there because I've got almost nothing. Can you dunk it, please? Thank you. Let's go. Mech over for under the basket. You know what? He's got his four points here. I'll take it. I've thrown Lucas so far out of play here. Yeah, he's got a green. I don't know what I'm doing. I threw my one... Like, the only defender I really have to worry about is Luca because I can recover. I've got time to recover on the other guys. Don't have time to recover on Kobe. Dunk that, Luke. You've got him cut off. We're laying in. Good. Wide open. He can't recover in time for that one. Big shot. Let's go. He's going to cut. I'm, I'm literally in the lane and press square. What more can I do? That's a shot that a mecha could hit. So, fair enough. I'm running out to it. Okay, we're good. We can stay on ball in this. Steal. Let's go, Luca. That's what you're there for. This is a big thing with on ball. You got right stick ripper. It's a big advantage of that. Good win, lads. And now we are on another win, another wheel spin of the good wheel. And we're going to land on a lock-in card by the looks of things. And for me, looking at the squad, it's a very obvious one. They're, well, they're not even obvious. I don't know why I said that, because there are two players you can go for. You can either go for Victor or Penny Hardaway. And I'm going to go for Penny at that point guard position. Nice lock-in card, 6-7, good shooter. Is going to rim run quite well. Like, if I get, like, I can, worst case scenario, I can play Darko as backup center, but, no, I do really like Penny Hard, but I think he's fantastic. We've got Amethyst, Tracy McGrady, and then we're going to go with Power Forward Diamond, Tim Duncan. What would it, what was meant to have been one of the greatest big threes of all time that ended up just being T-Mac in a what-if situation because Grant Hill was always injured. If only Doc Rivers had let Duncan's family go on the team plane. Russell Westbrook. Okay. So that is a weird three right here. But it's actually, I don't mind facing weird threes. Stuff like that is going to happen. 
as Grand Tail goes right to the basket. Nice dunk, good job. We've got a wide open Grand Tail for three. Green. You have to release a little bit earlier than you uh, would like expect to a Grant. Got him. Great take, Grant Hill. There we go. Now we're starting to cook a little bit. Good shot there by Grant Hill. Come on. That's pathetic defense. Grant Hill is going to hopefully burn him this time, though. He does. And Grant Hill with the dunk for the win. Another spin of the good wheel, lads, right here. We are going to land on... We're going to land on it again. We're going to land on lock-in again, which means... Obviously, we know we're going to pick. And I'm not using Shaq. I'm not using Kareem. I'm using Wemby. I do like the other guys, but I'm not going to not use Wemby. Just straight up. I'm just not going to not use him. So, Wemby, you're coming into the team. And you guys, you guys might see where I'm going here. I'm going to run him with two golds. Slava Medvedenko. <laughs> and we're going to play him with Slava Medvedenko and Tiago Splitter. Herb Jones, Swaggy P, and Nick Claxton. That is a good lineup. That is, for people, if you're thinking that that's not a great lineup, trust me, that's a good lineup. Mid-range, easy mode. Come on. They're able to just help off Tiago Splitter completely here. So we're not really able to use Kwame Brown in the way that he's best, he could be best used. We did find an open Tiago Splitter, good pass. Step in. Gotta hit that one. There we go, Splitter. Great pass there, though, by Kwame on the double team. That is a fact. That is a fact. Like, look at how quick that release was. Like, as a popper, as a defender, the fact that he's able to carry this garbage man lineup. And, like, we're not winning, but we scored 11 points. We were in it for a little bit. Like, he feels kind of fluid how he moves. Like, that's just nice offense. This is a good shot. Back to losing ways and a bad wheel spin. To be fair, with the squad I was running with, it's I had no chance of winning. And we're going to... Can't shoot. Could be worse, to be honest. And just because of the speed and their ability to kind of play the four at times, um, I'm at Oka for, like, you got a 43 ball. For can't shoot, I think. I'm not... I was... Well, maybe I push it in you, Zion. But with a 36 steal, you've got a near perfect card. I'm at Oka for is a very solid card in my team. Let's just put him in at the end of the bench. He's not going to play anyway. Greg Oden coming in at the center position right here. And we're also going to run, with Greg Oden, we're also going to run, like, the generational talented guys. The guys who everybody thought were going to be, like, generationally good. Which people thought about Greg Oden. They genuinely did. People thought Greg Oden was going to be one of, like, he was one of the top, they have a list, like, the top most hyped recruits of all time. Greg Oden's in the top 10. He's in the top 10 most hyped recruits of all time, like coming into college. Like, that's how good he was. So we're going to go Wiggins, who's obviously not, well, we're going Wembenyam. I've just given up. I've given up who the last one is. But like, if you guys don't remember how hyped Wiggins was in high school, like they literally were caught, like thought he was going to be better, like the next LeBron James. Like, they thought that he was the next, like, GOAT conversation player when he was in high school because of what Wiggins was doing. It was wild what he used to do in high school. Let's see who we're playing against. We're playing against not a terrible team. Again, not a good team. Oh, I beat this guy before. I've played this guy. I play this guy all the time. Actually, you know what? He's not in a tough matchup because he's being guarded by Tatum. But he just, but he literally just bullied David Robinson like he wasn't even there. I was like, Greg Owen's not a popper necessarily. He's someone that can probably hit a shot if needed. But his job is just to play bully ball. Oh, good pass. I thought I had the lane. Got him jumping. Oh, Tatum stripped him. Oh, he's not even that much of an inside presence, I will say. Good extra pass, Green. It was so promising when he backed down and bullied David Robinson in that first possession, but... Jeez, lads, this is not a very... Like, this card's fine. Another spin of the bad wheel. We are going to land on undersized again like i can use iverson i can always use iverson for this but like i've used iverson so much let me just use six foot tall what height is pat bev six two is not undersized canvas stinks let me use uh sebastian telfair new card not very good but if he has to play he has to play we're gonna go and put in rose i'm gonna put in we're gonna let's run rose with two mvps 
Let's run Rose with two MVPs. Let's go, Rose. Now let's put in Giannis. First two I can see. And Dirk. But Kobe was one as well. But yeah, we've got Derrick Rose right here. The pink diamond card with MVPs. Giannis Antetokounmpo from 2019 and 2020. And Dirk from 2007. So let's see who we're going to come up against right here. But let's see who we are coming up against. It looks like a tough lineup. Like Tatum, Jimmy Butler, and David Robinson is not easy at all. But I don't like I don't really rate Jimmy Butler on defense. I've burned him so much. Like, I get burned so many times using Jimmy Butler, and when I come up against Jimmy Butler, I tend to burn him every single time. You know what? Dirk can dunk, so I don't really mind. Screw it. One leg fade. Good shot, Dirk. I don't know if that was good defense or he just missed a shot, but I'll take it. He missed anyway. Give me baseline. Oh, it's my shot. Green D Rose. Yeah, I held a little bit longer on that. That's a good shot. It is easy to green when you know, when you think like hold long. Give me that, Dirk. Come on, for catch. Like I get it, adrenaline's off the, off the dribble maybe. See, adrenaline burst, are the like, I don't get it. Like adrenaline burst was like demanded by the Sim Nation guys. But yeah, like it's one of the least simulation things ever. That like if you burst three times, like stamina was already in the game. We didn't need a second stamina. Great defense, I think. Grab the board, good, there it goes. Hit the shooter there in the corner. That should be green. There we go, 20 to 17 lead. Who's he gonna cut with? No, Derrick Rose gets a steal. Dunk it on him, please. There we go, D Rose. Good win right there. And one final game, one spin of the, uh, the good wheel right here. And we're going to land on draft class. The 06 draft class. So I can use Lamarcus at all just to replace any one player. And honestly, Darko might actually be better than Mecca Oka for. I'm still gonna put in Lamarcus all just in case I need a shooter from the 06 draft class. Like Brandon Royer doesn't really fit in, but this is not a bad team we've come up with right here at all. Let's be real, this is not a bad team at all. I would assume we're coming up against the God Squad right here. Like it's solid 1 a.m. 2K, so you never know what you're coming up against. Um, in 95 and 84, he's played a lot more in this game than I have. And he's got Hakeem. He's got all the guys. Adam Morrison. I want to see what way LeBron's going to be able to guard, trying to guard him. They've left Luka wide open for three. Green, come on. Let's go, Adam Morrison. Oh, that's wide open for Adam Morrison. That's too easy. The best small forward in the game. That's too easy for him. Easy take there for Luka. They're just not playing defense, my opponent. He's giving me whatever shot I want whenever I want it. The only thing he's not letting me do is three hunt off the dribble, which is fine. Because I'll figure out other ways of scoring. Dunk that Zion. Come on. Let's go. It's a good screen there. Honestly, he sent some nice screens out of Morrison. I will say it. That's just awful defense by me letting LeBron run to the basket. But look, I'm good. I'm just trying to ease my way into this game. And I genuinely do think that I have the better this guy because I'm scoring whenever I feel like it. Like whenever I feel like it, I'm getting my scores. Nice tag, Luca. Someone's gotta be open here, do they? And it's gonna be Morrison, I think. That's gotta be my steal. Good defense, Kawhi Leonard. Out of Morrison, go get it. Go down and dunk, please. There we go, come on. Wrong player to give it to. Nice cut right there. He's just running out of bounds. I don't know what this guy's doing. Like, I'm up two. And it's literally, like... I think he's at seven offensive boards or something. There's no way we fell... There's no way. Good take. Let's go. Let's just beat this guy. He shouldn't be within 20 of me. There's no way he's doing this and it's working. He's just getting fluke animation after fluke animation. Look... Just look, if I keep, if we both keep playing the way we are, I win by 20. So that's just, that's just the one thing I got to just have in my head is keep making good plays, keep forcing my opponent into making high degree of difficulty plays, and I win. Green that one. Big shot of Jonathan Bender. Let's go. Like we're hitting our, our shots. I'm playing well. That's all I can say is I'm not playing badly. Dunk it. They're going to expect a three-pointer now. Let's go. The way this game's played, I think I'll win in a, if it's a weird, like, up and down, run up and down, fast shots game. I think I win that. Should have been a foul. Either way, it's fine. 
Like in a game where it becomes a case where we both make hundreds of mistakes throughout it, I think I'm making better, so much better reads that if I make this game into a game of reads, I win. And that's what I'm going to try to do with this. A game of prediction, a game of reads. It's open. Give me that one, Victor. Come on, we've pulled about, like, got a two-point lead here in very quick, like, not much time. With a lineup that probably isn't the greatest compared to his. Set where we're sending him into Victor. Like, that's a dumb play by him. He's just getting away with all his dumb plays. Like, he's running into Victor and it's working. Like, that should not work. Good dunk, Penny. Or a layup, that'll do. That is so dumb! He's attacking two, a seven footer and a seven four guy, and it's working. Give me the board. Oh my god. Okay, get Telfair off the floor. Charge. Blocking foul! No, no, that's not what we just got called against us. Good take, Adam Morrison. Come on. I'm pressing triangle. Like, there's nothing I can do. Good job, Adam Morrison. Come on, he's still taking out LeBron. He's doing well. What am I meant to do? What am I meant to do? Zion, I'm sorry. You can't. You gotta get off the floor. You gotta get off the floor. Roger, you're coming in. And um, what's his name? Is guarding whoever's a center. The Kanbe's gotta guard Zion. Gotta guard um, Giannis. Sorry. What is? I've never experienced this before. And Luka Doncic cocks it back instead of taking the open layup or dunk. That just sums up my game now, doesn't it? That just sums up every second of this game. Okay, that's the worst Algo has ever hit me in a game of 2K. So, surely I'm going to get luck on my side for the rest of this game. Of course, AD steps into that lane. CPU AD comes into that pass. He switches off completely on that cut. And a CPU AD comes in and just anticipates it. Okay, come on. Like, this game's probably over. But like a stop and a score here, and we might have a chance. He's doing dumb things on every possession, and it's just working. Like that! Like that! He's gonna get a score off that bailout, isn't he? No, come on. Come on, Rudy Gay. We're back to 14. Let's go. This isn't game is far from over. It's far from over. The way this guy's playing, it's far from over. Like, all he needs is just some of those mad stuff that he's doing to not work. That's terrible defense by me. That's open for Adam Morrison. And it's a miss. Wow. That's not a good miss right there. Give me that pass. Good shot, Kawhi. Good pass, Adam Morrison. To cut it to... It's a big three to cut the lead to 22. Oh. That's not a good play. Like... The worst part is, like, that specific shot that he took, he's been shooting all game and it's been going in. Like, awful shots have been going in this whole game. Adam Morrison is missing shots as well. And I don't even think my shots I was taking were that much worse. Good shot, Adam Morrison. It's just the algo. The algo. The algo went from this being, like, a two-point game to a 28-point game in a half. 